Yeah, welcome to Cooking with Papa Talk at Papa Talk's PA Restaurant. Usually I do this at home in the kitchen, but how y'all doing out there, folks? Today we're going to be doing us up a special there with you, and uh, we're going to do chicken quesadillas. Now these things are awesome for the family. Both you out there working hard, you come home, throw these things together. The kids love it, and they're very inexpensive. I went right down to Stop and Shop and picked up everything I need for this thing. And I mean, look, you go out to a restaurant, these things are costing you eight, ten dollars a piece. You cook them at home, they're three, four bucks a piece. And you can't beat that in this economy. So let's get right into this. I'll show you what we need to do. <coughs> Let me get my binoculars on so I can see. What we got here is we got some flour tortillas, okay? We're gonna be using these. We're gonna be using us a uh, a green pepper. We're going to be using one medium sized onion, okay? And I picked up some shredded cheddar jack cheese, okay? Nice and shredded. We'll add these right to them. And for, for side dishes, oh, of course, you got, I'm going to put some uh, minced garlic into it when we're cooking it. You're going to need some uh, nice sour cream, okay? I picked up hood, love hood sour cream, okay? And then I picked up an easy salsa. Just pick up some salsa. I mean, I'll show you in the future shows how to make salsa, you know, and how, I mean, we'll get right into all this stuff later on. But right now, this is quick and easy. Okay, I also picked up some, some sliced mushrooms because the wife loves mushrooms in her casadilla. And then I picked up bottled basil, you might say, package of basil. This is really quick and inexpensive, and it lasts a long time in your refrigerator. So after you open it, refrigerate it, and you got this stuff for a while. Okay, and if you're not going to be using it that often, you can hold this in the refrigerator for a couple months. It's sealed up. And then I picked up, I love to use fresh parsley. Now you can use dried parsley too, but I like to use fresh parsley. And then I picked up a package of chicken breast. I mean, these are all boned and skinned. You can't beat it. And all I'm going to do with these chicken breasts is open this up. I'm going to throw a little uh, olive oil into a fry pan. We're going to uh, cook these up whole like this. I'll show you. And then I'll pull them off after and cut them into chunks. Well, let's get, the, let's get our ingredients cut up here a little bit. This green pepper is nice. Now, I'll show you the easy way that I cut the green pepper is I will let's flip it around. I cut the end of it off, okay, like this. I'll show you so the camera can see it. I like to cut the end of it off like this. Cut right down through there. This is very easy, okay. Pop it off. Look at that comes right out, pops right out. Look at that, there's all your seeds. Then I can always also break that right off. Put that down there for mama tuck to clean. Says a long time ago when we first got married, 20 some odd years ago, I do all the cooking, she does all the cleaning. So I make plenty of cleaning for mama tuck. Yeah! <laughs> you let me now, mama tuck. So then, getting back to the pepper, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna slice this baby up a little bit, okay? What we want to do is chop it up. We don't want to go too crazy with it. All right, sort of mince it. No big deal. All you new cooks out there, be careful with your fingers when you're chopping up your peppers, your onions and whatnot. But all we're going to do is sort of mince this up like this. No big, let's move that onion out of the way. Okay, all we want to do is chop it up fine. Not real fine. Look at that. Look at that. I want, I want, this is, look at, oh my God, that's nice. Now, I don't want to get it too fine. I, I, I like to have it just the right sizes for biting in my castadillas, okay? Because we're actually going to cook this down a little bit. Look at that. Now, that's about perfect right there. Now, you notice all you new cooks out there, I, when I'm cutting, I cut like this. When I'm moving my food, I'm using the dull side of the blade. Move it over like this, okay? Not to dull my sharp side. All right, let's do the same thing with the onion. Now, when I do an onion, what I like to do is cut off a piece like that so I have a flat surface, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this onion, not all the way through, as you notice, into little different sections about a quarter inch thick, just like this, okay? Just like this. Just like that. And then I'm going to flip this and go a couple times like this. Just like that. This is the very, very easy way to do this. Then I set it back down on my flat surface. I hold my onion. 
Look at that. We are all diced up. Makes it so easy. Look at that. Now there is our diced onion. All diced up. We'll use this later for something else. So let's just put that to side, put that over there. Look at that. We're gonna take move these over here like this. Again, using our flat side. Let me go over the stove here for a minute. Cause I got some goodies over here cooking. Put a little bit of a little bit of water in there so we don't burn this stuff. But what I did over here, and I'm gonna bring these right over to you. I've already got my chicken cooking. Okay? I took it from my package, I put it into my frying pan, and I'm cooking these whole. And when we get these cooked all the way through, I'll bring them over here and I'll show you how we chop it up, okay? So all I did was I put a little garlic in the bottom and a little bit of oil in here, and I'm watching it as it cooks. And when the water starts evaporating out, my juices start evaporating, I'll add a little bit of water to it, okay? That's how I've been doing this. That way it don't burn. And I've been cooking these on a medium heat. See, I got me a squirt can of water that I use. You can use a cup, just use a cup. Just squirt it right in there, put it right back on the heat. And listen for it, you'll hear it starting to burn, all right? Hey, hey, how y'all doing out there? Papa Tuck here from my cooking show, Cooking with Papa Tuck, how y'all doing? I'm just sitting here reading Life with a Fisherman again. This, this book is awesome. Your kids are gonna love this. A lot of parents got it too for a beach read. What this, it's a little, it, it's called Life with a Fisherman, and it's a, it's a beautiful little story of about a little boy who grows up and learns the way of the old time fisherman. And then we've got my cookbook, Cooking with Papa Tuck. I'm going to put this into the package I'm going to tell you about in a second. And I'm telling you right now, Grandpa and Grandma and Mom and Dad, you got to get Pumpkin Bunch for your kids. This thing is awesome. It's a bedtime fairy tale story, okay? But what we're going to do is I'm going to throw a package of these three books together for you for $28.50. You can't beat that price, okay? And I'll ship these things right out to you, okay? So just go to my website or call the phone number. We'll take your info and I'll get these things right out. Let's get some parsley into this, okay? What I like to do is take, oh, about a pop of tuck paw parsley, okay? That's about all I want with parsley right there because this is fresh and it's, it's got so much flavor to it. I absolutely love it. So what we'll do is this, is we'll set this down here and we will cut this up. Just chop it up a little bit. You don't need to go too crazy. Okay, don't go too crazy with it. Just chop it up a little bit. Just like that. All right, and we're actually gonna mix that right over there like this. Then we are gonna take some mushrooms. Now you can figure out how much you need, how many kids you have, and how many of these things you're gonna be needing. Just go by ear on that. And uh, I'll actually put these on my website so you can, you can copy and paste there. And they are also, I believe these quesadillas are in my new cookbook, okay? So what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna bring a pan over here. All righty, I am gonna take a little bit of, I like to use green olive oil. Put a little green olive oil back there. Just cover the pit bottom of that pan a little bit. Just like that. And I'm going to take about a, oh, plastic fork full of garlic. All chopped up. Just like that. And we are going to take and mix all this in, okay? Just like this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here and saute this, okay? We're gonna put it onto our stove and we are gonna saute. And this is what it looks like before she's cooking. We're gonna bring this over on a medium heat to low heat. Do not burn this, do not let it burn. We're gonna bring this over and just start warming it up. So I'll put this on, the, on that fire because our chicken's ready right now. So let me fire this up, get it down to a medium heat. I'm, I'm gonna add a little water to this because we do not want this to burn, okay? And you'll notice while you're cooking things, you use the garlic, the garlic, the chopped garlic burns quick. Keep an eye on it, okay? Now let's bring this chicken over here a little bit. Alrighty, we'll set this puppy right down here like this and we'll put it onto our chicken board. There's one piece, 
There's two piece. There's three piece. Now you can also cut this up into your frying pan at home, however you want to do it. I'll show you how Papa Tuck does it when I get into my house. I'm going to bring that pan right back over here so the kids don't get burnt. And as you'll notice too, now I'm, I'm in a restaurant kitchen right now, but I do it here too, but at home too. When I'm putting these pans on, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Put them handles in so when people walk by that, you go, you got your, your little one coming out to get a drink of water or a glass of milk. They hit that, they get scalded. So that's a safety. Keep that in mind there at home, okay? Yeah, how y'all doing out there? Oh my God, this new vacuum cleaner is awesome. You got to check this puppy out. Oh my God. It's, it's, called, it's called the Perfect Power Team Vacuum Cleaner, and these things have been known to sell up over 1500 bucks. and I got one heck of a package deal for you. You get all the accessories, you get HEPA filters for it, 800 bucks. You can't beat it. It makes a beautiful wedding gift or just around the house. This thing is awesome. It, I mean, it's heavy. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, for instance. This thing pulls by itself. Look at that thing. The, I mean, the suction on this. I don't even need to get into it. It speaks for itself. My God, this thing is awesome. You get all your accessories with this. You get your HEPA filters with this. And they're so easy to change and take out and throw away the mess. I mean, I've been buying vacuums for 20 years. And this, by far, is the best thing that I've come across. And I just had to get this thing out to the public. $800 on this thing. You can visa it. We accept the major credit cards. Just call the phone number or, or get in contact with me on my website. Oh my God, I love this thing. I'm going to get one for my daughter. Yeah, I love this thing. I'm going to flip that back over here. We'll get our sauteing going on. And uh, what we're going to do with our chicken, okay, let me bring it over here a little bit closer. Yeah! My God, does that smell good? You smell that? Oh my God, does that smell good? What we're going to do is we're actually just going to chunk this up into a quesadilla mix. Now, you're going to notice that your chicken is almost done, okay? It's still a little pink in the middle. It's not quite finished, okay? This is when you want to pull it off, when it's almost done but not quite. Because as our goodies in the pan over there are cooking, we're going to add these chunks to it and mix it in and finish the cook. You also have to remember we're going to be adding this to our uh, tortilla dough. So we're going to cook it up a little bit more. But let's get this caught in the chunks. And you know, your preference is your pre preference on the size of the chunks you want. My wife loves them small. She loves small chunks, okay? So that's what we're doing with this. Just like this. Pull this other one over, cut it down, cut it down, cut it down. Now you see what I'm talking about with this piece of chicken, okay? Look at that. White around the edge, and it's still pink in the middle. Sort of, sort of, sort of raw. Yeah, we want to cook that all the way. All right, so let's get them put over here, chop them up, make them small for the wife. Or make them small for the hubby, or big chunks, whatever you got out there in homeland. But just cut them up. Look at that. There is a nice, nice smell coming from this. So let's get this one all cut up. Look at that. This is very nice chicken, all skinned and boned. And uh, if there is a knee in the meat counter, ask your meat cutter. I'm sure the meat cutter uh, at your favorite store uh, set you right up with whatever you need. They always do me when I go in. Look at that, look at that. So, I wanna explain here for a minute where these cooking shows came from. They came from Papa Tuck, <laughs> yeah, I'm Papa Tuck. <laughs> they all started with my cookbook. Working on another cookbook right now, and uh, this is the first edition, so, Actually, this is a second edition. I've got one edition, two edition. This is a second edition. But there's a bunch of family recipes in here. And not only is it the family recipes that date back six generations in the family, this cookbook explains to the new cook exactly how to prepare the food. 
step by step, and it's just like Papa Tuck being in your kitchen talking to you. I mean, you, you just got to get it and read it. So uh, what I'm doing along with this book, okay, I also have the Life with a Fisherman book, okay? Now, what I did here with this is I made this book with fairly nice size print so people like Papa Tuck and needs his binoculars on can read the print. But there's, this is about a little boy who grows up out on the Cape and Island areas back a couple hundred years ago, and he learns the way of the old-time fishermen. You might say pirate fishermen. You, you, it's a must-read. It's a beautiful, beautiful beach read. Um, actually gave this uh, to an English teacher, and she absolutely loved it. And she I guess you're going to have her kids do a book report on it before the year's out. Now, also, now this is for Grandma and Grandpa out there, okay? Grandma and Grandpa, this is Pumpkin Bunch. It is a bedtime fairy tale story for the kids. For your, for your little ones. Mom and dad too, but I'm finding a lot of grandparents are purchasing this book and they're reading it to their grandchildren. Bedtime fairy tale story. And it's called Pumpkin Bunch. It's about a little girl who goes, oh, you, you gotta get it. But she saves the kingdom. Uh, it, it, and it's got beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustrations in here. Let me just get to one here. I mean, the illustrations are like on um, every page. I mean, look at the illustrations for the little ones. You know, I mean, it's just totally awesome. There's mommy and daddy and, and, and the little one. And then you flip a little bit back to the book, you know. Punk and Bunch Land, you know. And then, uh, oh, my God, the Jaspers. That's a mean army. That's a mean army. Lily's got to save, save Punk and Bunch Land. That's what this book is all about. And it, it's just a wonderful read, okay. So what I'm doing as a special... I'm going to screen a phone number you can call, put your order in, you can MasterCard, Visa, whatever, we accept all the credit cards, and I'm going to send this package out, okay? And this is a special, this is a special. I'm going to do nine, $9.50 a book, total of three to the package, and we'll ship them right to you. You know, of course, plus the shipping and handling, which is only a few bucks, so. Give us a call, and uh, order up your books. Yeah, you'll love them. You'll love them. You go to my website too at uh, papabooks.net. We'll put that across the bottom screen so you can see that. And uh, there's life with life with a fisherman there too. There's um, life with a fisherman, pumpkin bunch, uh, the outlaw deer hunter, and another cookbook coming out. I'll let you know about that after. All right, let's get let's get this finished up. We got our I hear our, I hear our sizzling over here at the stove. Let me stir this up. Okay. This is about done right now. Now I've stirred this right up. I'll bring it right over and show you what she looks like. Just about like that, okay? Those peppers are nice and tender looking. You want them to be tender, not too tender. You'd want to overcook them, okay? And what we're going to do is we are going to add our chicken to this, okay? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, look at that. We'll cut this other one up and add it after. Now these chunks ain't quite small enough, so I'll chunk these up a little bit more while we're cooking. Well, let's get this all mixed in. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, I'll finish cutting up this chicken and uh, add that to it, and then I'll show you how to put this quesadilla together. And we'll fry it up, and you're going to love it. You're, you got to try this. Yeah, how you doing? I'm Papa Tuck from the cooking show, Cooking with Papa Tuck. I want to get serious here for a minute. As you know, we have a huge problem with Lyme disease, and we got to get rid of the culprit, the little deer ticks. And the root of the problem, in my eyes, is the little mouse that carries him into his den, and it's born on his young, and they spread them all over the place. Now, we've all got friends and family out there, I know we do, I know I do, that have got Lyme disease and they're going through all kinds of havoc right now. So help me stamp out these little varmints. I found a beautiful solution and it's called Diamondix and it, these are tubes that you spread around your yard. These are going to be coming in a case. You, you just order them and I'll ship them to you. And I, as a special today, I'll cover the shipping and handling. They're like $87 and change. You can go to my website or call the phone number and, and do your information. I'll get these things right out to you. What, what, this, what happens here is the mouse goes into the tube, 
Okay, he goes down into his little burrow, builds his nest with these little cotton balls that are in the tube, and as his young are born, the ticks are wiped out. The little insecticide that's on these things just wipes out the deer tick. I mean, we have our children playing in our yards. I mean, it's terrible. And the ticks, especially this year, especially this year. So you just go to my website and give me some information and I'll get these things right out to you. Hey, hey how y'all doing out there? Papa Tuck here from my cooking show, Cooking with Papa Tuck. How y'all doing? I'm just sitting here reading Life with a Fisherman again. This, this book is awesome. Your kids are gonna love this. A lot of parents got it too for a beach read. What this, it's, a little, it, it's called Life with a Fisherman. And it's a, it's a beautiful little story of about a little boy who grows up and learns the way of the old time fisherman. And then we've got my cookbook, Cooking with Papa Tuck. I'm gonna put this into the package I'm gonna tell you about in a second. And I'm telling you right now, grandpa and grandma and mom and dad, you gotta get pumpkin bunch for your kids. This thing is awesome. It's a bedtime fairy tale story, okay? But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw a package of these three books together for you for $28.50. You can't beat that price, okay? And I'll ship these things right out to you, okay? So just go to my website or call the phone number. We'll take your info and I'll get these things right out. Yeah, it's ready to throw our quesadillas together. Yeah, what we did is we buttered the bottom of the pan a little bit, okay? Let me get this off. Throw that down there for Mama Tuck. And uh, what we're gonna do is get us out some of these flour tortillas. Look at that. One piece for the bottom, okay? That's gonna go right there like that. Put that up there. Let's bring our ingredients over. We'll set that down there so we don't burn things, okay? And I'm gonna bring our pan over here. That's all turned off. This is all done, okay? And that's what she looks like, okay? We kept a little bit of juice in the bottom so that we didn't burn things, but this is it right now. Ready for the chicken quesadillas. So I'm gonna set them right down there in that hot plate. Move this out of the way. What we're gonna do, look at that. We're gonna put this right on the bottom here. Spread it out a little bit, look at that. Oh my God, does that look good. Now. Different strokes for different folks. We're gonna be using the shredded cheese. You can use mozzarella, shredded mozzarella. You can put some ricotta cheese in this if you'd like. It's all up to your preference. Like I say, we're gonna be, let me put this right here. All right, while that's cooking over there, we're gonna get our little side set. And I got these little cups I picked up, okay? And uh, you can use anything you want, bowls, coffee cups, whatever the house has. But what I like to do is we'll take it and uh, put our uh, salsa milks right in here like this into one of these cups to serve this with. Okay, look at that. Oh my God, does that ever smell good? Yeah, I like that. We're gonna put that right there. Now we also, now this is up to you at home too. I picked up some uh, El Paso green chili peppers, okay? And what I'm gonna do, they come in the can. I opened them up out the can. I'm gonna get these babies out of here. Just like that. See that? We are gonna take and cut that up, okay? So what I'll do with this is just cut it up like this. Somebody wants it on the top of their quesadilla, they can have it. Look at that. We're gonna take that, we're gonna put that right into the other serving dish. Just like this, just like this. Look at that. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the sour cream, just like this. And we're gonna put it, let's stir that up a little bit. We're gonna put that into this other dish. And we'll set these right over on the table and you can fix as many as you want, it depends how many kids you have. And uh, serve that with the uh, quesadillas when they come out. And we'll know that in a few minutes as soon as they're done. Let's go over there and check them. We'll make sure uh, they aren't burning. And they aren't. They are not burning. Might want to put a little bit more butter into that pan while it's cooking up. And as uh, soon as it's done, dinner will be done. Yeah! All right. 
This baby is ready to flip. Okay, I'm going to bring it right over here so you can see it. Okay, my edges of my tortilla are all folded down. Okay, listen to that baby sizzle and yeah, does that ever smell good? Let's flip this right over. There it is. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Now we're going to take this back over. This is almost done. Now, the secret here is we're going to take and push the sides down as this bottom part is warming up. Just sort of push these down and get them to cake in, okay? Let's get them over here. Just sort of push them down. Let that cheese pull it all together. We'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out of here. All right. Now that bottom part cooks quick, so you got to keep an eye to it, okay? We're going to get this baby right on there. Look at that. Oh, my God, does that ever smell good? Let's put that right back on there. Over here. Now that's hot, so be careful, but I just want to sort of cut this. Show you what she looks like. Look at that. Oh, my God. God, does that ever look so good? The kids love this. Look at that. That is so hot. Now what you do is you bring that back. Look at that. There's your serving dish. Bring that out the table and the family loves these things. And the cool thing about this is is you did this in your kitchen. Yeah! You watch for me here on your favorite station every Saturday and Sunday morning, 6.30 to 7. Yeah! How y'all doing out there? Oh my God, this new vacuum cleaner is awesome. You gotta check this puppy out. Oh my God. It's, it's, called, it's called the Perfect Power Team Vacuum Cleaner, and these things have been known to sell up over 1,500 bucks, and I got one heck of a package deal for you. You get all the accessories, you get HEPA filters for it, 800 bucks. You can't beat it, makes a beautiful wedding gift or just around the house. This thing is awesome. It, I mean, it's heavy. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, for instance. This thing pulls by itself. Look at that thing. The, I mean, the suction on this. I don't even need to get into it. It speaks for itself. My God, this thing is awesome. You get all your accessories with this. You get your HEPA filters with this. And they're so easy to change and take out and throw away the mess. I mean, I've been buying vacuums for 20 years. And this, by far, is the best thing that I've come across. And I just had to get this thing out to the public. $800 on this thing. You can visa it. We accept the major credit cards. Just call the phone number or, or get in contact with me on my website. Oh my God, I love this thing. I'm going to get one for my daughter. Yeah, I love this thing.